Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Bebop and Rock City 2-pack from NECA Toys. Uh, these are done in the animation style and these 2-packs are exclusive to Target. Um, hopefully everyone who wants one of these has been able to find one. They were very sought after. Uh, they were the only new 2-pack in the second wave and because of that I think, and because it's Bebop and Rock City, uh, they were incredibly popular and people were scalping them and no one could find them and it was a whole thing. I got lucky and it randomly popped in stock on Target.com. Uh, so that's how I was able to get one. But I think since then they've gone back and done reissues and shipped more. So hopefully everyone who's able to, uh, everyone who wanted one was able to get one. Uh, now I've been a little scared about opening this. I've heard some things about like uh, joints breaking and things that I have to be careful with. So I'm a little nervous. But I figured at the end of the day, these are meant to be opened and displayed or played with. So definitely uh, can't keep them in the box forever. I know some people do, but for me... I have to open them. Uh, you can see here that we have the, I guess, newer TMNT logo. It's kind of the 2012 logo, but done with the original colors. And this was uh, right before they got the approval to use that classic logo. So you can see that this box does not have the classic TMNT logo, but they are able to use it now on the newer packaging, which is pretty cool. Artwork here on the front, I think, looks really fun. Figures inside look really nice. Uh, over here, you have a picture of Rocksteady. Over here, you have Bebop, and then you have a nice two-pack, a two-pack, a nice pick of the two of them on the back, and you can see the others that were available in Wave 2. Again, all, these weren't reissues, but they were recolors of figures you already had, just in that lighter uh, green color, and then the uh, Army Building uh, foot two-pack, which again, these figures were already available, so that's why this was the only true new two-pack in the line, or in that Wave, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here they are out of the packaging, and I have to admit that they look fantastic. And I actually got lucky. All of my joints seem to be okay. Not too bad as far as uh, being really tight. That is one thing with NECA figures. They make great figures, um, but the joints are always super tight out of the box. So you might want to use a hair dryer or something like that to soften some of them but i actually didn't have any problems knock on wood we'll see how it goes but anyway here's rocksteady absolutely fantastic the mouth even opens i love that really like that a lot they did a great job on the detailing the paint on the head looks amazing head can move from side to side and up and down can actually get some up and down movement there shoulders out to the side as well as a swivel then you have a bicep swivel, you have double jointed elbows as you can see here. They're a little tight, but you can move them. You can see the joints right there. Uh, wrists swivel, and there's a hinge as well, but the joint, the hinge joint on the hands are very tight as well. He does come with some extra hands. I've already swapped one out so I could put this weapon in. And the weapons look fantastic. They do a great job. They look like they came right out of the cartoon. He's got like a swivel here in the waist. I'm not really sure. I think they didn't bother with an ab crunch or anything like that just because of the way he's designed. Um, but you can move it from side to side a little bit, but there's not really any crunch front to back. Um, decent articulation here in the hip. It's pretty tight, like a ratchet joint there. I'm really trying not to break these. <laughs> I don't think there will be a problem, but like I said, they just, they're tight, so it, it uh, scares me. You do have a thigh swivel as well, double jointed knee here, as you can see right there and there. And then you have uh, rock side to side, little front and back there on the ankle. So you have some nice articulation there. I kind of feel like his feet are maybe a little too small, especially for how to top heavy he is. But they seem to work okay. He's got the little wooden sword on his back. He's got the one turtle shell. He's got some grenades around. Really nicely detailed. And I just wanted to show off real quick the extra hands that he comes with. So you have two fists, one's in there now, and this is the one I swapped out for that hand holding the gun. And then you have this set of really open hands. I'm assuming like if he's trying to grab the turtles, or maybe you might even be able to have him like trying to strangle a turtle or hold the turtle in this hand. So he's got a set of those hands. And then he's got another like gun holding hand, as you can see here. These are so tight though, and I feel like NECA's has already gotten better about this. Um, with their newer releases, but I wish these weren't so like tight I wish the hands were just a little bit more malleable to get weapons in and out Because they're so tight that you try to like pry them apart to fit something inside And then it ends up rubbing paint off the hand itself or paint off the weapon, which is a bummer 
But like I said, I feel like they've already gotten a little better about that because we've definitely seen like four or five releases since these two guys <laughs> came out. So uh, they have gotten a little better about that. But you can see here the hinge in the wrist. And it's like already this is really tight and I'm having trouble getting this to move. And I'm really just not about to break this off. But you can see it move a little bit. But there is a hinge there. They're just very, very, very tight. But let's put that off to the side. Um, and I should point out that each one of these guys comes with one of these guns and one of these guns. So I have Bebop holding one, Rocksteady holding the other. But they look great. Again, looks like they leapt right off the cartoon. Beautifully designed. Beautifully painted. I think they did an absolutely fantastic job with the guns. So very, very nice indeed there. They also have a communicator with a picture of Shredder on it. So just show that off. All right, we'll move Rocksteady back a bit. Uh, I think Bebop looks even better than Rocksteady, if that's possible. And I kind of thought, and maybe I'm thinking of the original toy, but I thought the mohawk color went all the way down into like the, this is supposed to simulate the warthog's tail, but it's his hair. But I thought the purple went all the way down. Maybe I'm wrong. But the glasses are fantastic. Again, the mouth does open. So we can push that down. And that looks amazing. Really, really nicely done there. And the inside, you can see the tongue's all painted. And I love the tusks on both sides. Really, really nice. The turtle shell shoulder pads look fantastic. He's got the necklaces and the bandolier and the little grenades and everything. This is the only thing. This chain that's his belt, it kind of slides down from time to time. It's only really affixed in the front. That's like my only complaint about his accessories. It's not a big a deal because when you're posing it like from the front, you don't really notice it. But and maybe it was affixed and I, I knocked it off while I was getting it out of the packaging. That's possible. But you could always just do like maybe just a little dollop of super glue right there just to keep that in place. I might do something like that. I haven't decided. But he's also got head from side to side and a little bit of front and back, but not as much. Uh, nice shoulder joints. And then he has a rotation, but because of the uh, shoulder pads, it's a little hindered, but you can still get it to move around. Then you have the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. These are really tight. Uh, again, he's got he's got the chain bracelet over here, which again I feel like it's not really affixed. And I appreciate what they're going for; they wanted the realistic chain, but I would have been maybe okay with them just kind of gluing it on there somehow or something like that. But you can move the wrist, and of course he has interchangeable fists. Um, this is the best hand to hold this gun, but it doesn't even make sense because the trigger finger is like up in the air. But they don't really; none of the fists are really fantastic for this gun i love the look of this gun but none of the fists are really made to hold it unfortunately uh he's got kind of an abdomen thing going on here as you can see uh not really much in the front to back but side to side a little bit he's got similar uh knee joints knee joints these are the hip joints <laughs> so he's got out to the side uh, a little bit of front and back there as you can see does have a thigh swivel then he's got the double jointed knees as you can see and then he's got the similar ankle where you can do a swivel and a little bit of front to back so again i think they both look fantastic they really did a nice job with these it's just a question of making sure i can get them to stand but yeah you should be good and then just real quick uh bebop's extra set of hands again just like Rocksteady, he has the kind of grabbing hand set. He has the gun holding hand set. And then he's got the fist set. So I've got one of each of these. And then we have the... Whoops. All right. <laughs> that was hysterical. He just did a flip. That was pretty impressive. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like they're very top heavy. And I'm worried that their feet will be able to hold them. I think ultimately they'll be okay. Um... Just have to really find a solid pose and maybe lean them back a little bit. Something like that, maybe. That might work out a little better. I'll have to play with it. But they're definitely good-looking figures. Really, really happy with them. And I'm really happy mine don't seem to have any joint problems, knock on wood. A uh, lot of alternate hands. They each come with uh, one of each of the blasters, which I think both look good. You have the communicator, so 
all in all, I'm pretty happy with this set. I think they did a really nice job with the detailing. All the articulation's good. Uh, like I said, just with NECA joints, I feel like sometimes they're a little too tight, and that worries me. But once you kind of work them a little bit, they're not a problem, and then you can get some really nice poses out of these guys. So if you can find a set of these for a reasonable price, I definitely recommend picking them up. Uh, but hopefully don't have to pay scalper prices. I believe NECA is trying to get these out there. They know the demand was high, so they're definitely trying to get them out there for everybody. But yeah, really great set. Really love them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.